Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be the 39th episode in a Please Do As Egypt series. From last episode, we had another good war with Phrygia. That's the reason all of our armies are over here. And this episode, we are going to be declaring war on the Seleucid Empire once again. You can see that they're currently at war with all these guys. Uh, mostly just their former allies, Armenia. And actually, was something I only just noticed is that they did have a war with Mara, which is kind of surprising considering how Mara is a pretty powerful nation with a super good economy, actually. And the Seleucid Empire, which is not that many cohorts. It does need 10,000 men currently. Um, that's definitely an interesting choice. Although they did actually do us a favor. You can see that they did get some more land that we do need for reunite Alexander's Empire. So that kind of helps us out. Although if the Seleucid Empire could have beat Mara, then we probably could have. And they did only just get the more land. Probably more land than we actually took from them in our wars. Anyway, we are going to be declaring war once again on the Babykin Revolt. That's why I left it here, so we can declare war on it. It's a subject state, so we don't have to um, be at war with their two allies, which are actually pretty powerful, Sakya and Maka. These guys have 73 cohorts, and they have 37, although they're kind of isolated all the way up there. These guys could just kind of walk across in the Seleucid Empire and push through this way, which is not great. And so we're going to be moving our armies. And you can see this long-lost Seleucid Empire army that's been here. For roughly, probably over 60 years in game. Actually, it's gonna they're gonna have to go all the way back as well because they're technically exiled. Anyway, we'll send this army down here if we do need to actually beat it. And so I'll come back once all of our troops are assembled. We do already have a claim, as you can see. We already have a claim that is because of this mission right here that we still have not completed because we do need this little bit. So we'll always have a claim on that no matter what. Well, this um, not always be able to declare war because of a truce. So come back once all those armies have been assembled. And now a long while later, after dealing with quite a few loyalty problems, we are now back. You can see we do have an army of 90,000 that just arrived um, from over here. You see this army of 21,000 there to slow, and I'm hoping that they'll go deal with race or any other problems in this area. And maybe they'll just march over here if they really want to. It's 90,000 army we're going to send over here, but we are going to declare war right now because these guys can kind of fix the problems along the way. If you remember from a couple episodes ago, I believe I talked about how they do have, a, they do actually have two more forts now. So now they do have five in their entire empire and they, they have quite a bit of land. You can see us, we have roughly 62 forts somewhere around there. And so that's good for us. You can see that I don't think there are many in this area. Looks like there's one here. And there's one up here, and then I, none over there. And then probably some like over here or something like that. Anyway, we are gonna we are all set for, to declare war. You can see this army is increased in size, probably draining Seleucid Empire's manpower, which is pretty low. You see ours is slowly heading up. You can see our economy is not doing too great right now, probably because almost our entire army is fully kind of assembled. You can see that cohorts wise, Egypt, or sorry, the Seleucid Empire has lost quite a few, but has gained some since the start of the episode. Anyway, we can declare war. See, so Seleucid Empire and all of three of our allies will join, which is great. We can, okay. So, so uh, Seleucid Empire will come out any war later. We want to declare war on the Seleucid Empire. Just a bit of spoilers, we aren't actually that interested in you, little tiny nation. And it looks like we are actually going to be able to engage them. I was not sure if it would let us. And if, since we are, we definitely need a better commander, and that will, oh. People are not happy about that new commander choice. I'm not sure if a lot of people like you a lot, I'm pretty sure a lot of people dislike you strongly. So let's see who is now, just a lot, you can see how the Magra family as well as how the Liptomate family, you can see a full 29% of our power base is the slow, and so, Lithmate, I believe that is head. Okay. They are at 22 loyalty. You can see that they are actually really craft already. I'm assuming they're a governor of something. Yep. And so, and we could actually go with this. That would actually work. Give them. We can give them free hands. And now they are loyal. That should. And actually, that won't. Because we are. There are a ton of people. Or at least a lot of powerful people. You can see the head of the Maggard family. This guy right here is at 26 loyalty, but you can just go ahead and give them free hands as well. And so, let's see, month of corruption, that's just 
a bit, and we don't have any really any interest in revoking it, and we should be fine. So we'll give him free hands, and so we can continue on with this war now. See, now we are a lot bit more likely to win, and that is why this army is coming over, because let's pull this little contingent and have them go back them up, and also ideally take out these guys, or we can have the entire army do it. Although I think the battle will be finished before they manage to get there. Aggressive, okay then, and that would be over here, not that battle. We lost 17,000 troops and they lost... That's not a very good battle, by the way. Okay, I can't pronounce that name. That is a terrible battle we lost. We had twice many men, and yet a better general on that, and let we... Yeah, we lost almost twice as many troops. That is not the result we wanted. I suppose. Okay. And over here we are victorious. Good battle for us. So the Sin Empire and that army will be sent running. And we might as well just have this army go and take that little fort right there. And so I also do have these amount of troops over here. I had a lot more over here, except then some Armenian armies came and took all of this land. So I was... Or I initially thought that all the Seleucid Empire's armies would be up here, considering that they are at war with them. And it looked like a bit of a battleground. You can see they took some land. They took some land, so that's what I thought initially. But then an Armenian army took all of this, and there's no Seleucids in sight. So I suppose I'll put these guys on impen operations, and they'll go over there. That's fine. They, it's not, not too long of a distance if they want to get back in case and you did not get the memo we are currently at war neither did you actually i probably didn't tell anyone to do are these guys this low that would be the reason i never told anyone to do anything over here i thought for a second that these guys were on infinite operations that i already put them on because of that battle prepare on that we did take baby line which is good because that is what we do want and it's auto saving it was just that roughly at the end of the month, and looks like Ban Revolt has an army of a thousand troops. Okay, that army's gone. These guys are still heading over, and ideally, maybe someone will do help us out and take out that army. It was only only one thousand. Yep, and now now it does not doesn't have enough men. And looks like I help him out, I do not mean you. I meant the guy that's going where the army, I suppose. That's currently going down there. You guys clearly desire a very hard job. Actually, that is our fort, and... Nope, that is not in our... Seleucid Empire, okay. Where are your forts, Seleucid Empire? They're there. Really? So you're telling me, Seleucid Empire... Your empire is so cheap, you don't want to spend any money on building any forts, even though you know I declare war on you at the second our truce ends, which is like every five years, or if I can get away with another nation. You're a terrible ruler. Anyway, you guys would invade. This is Seleucid Empire. You're supposed to be invading them, not the two territory area over there. You know, you just go in there. Maybe you need to be encouraged. Okay, go and take some land in there, and then hopefully once they're already in there, they'll get into the capture solution of Empire's land spirit. So you can see we do have some disallowed provinces, which are essentially all under these people right here. Um, you see this person, but trying to, I tried to change it before, and I completely just took out this entire area. You can see I put them on cultural assimilation, because that is most of the problem, and then once that fixed, they'll slowly start going upwards, and we can put them like harsh stream or something like that. And so we won the siege, which is great. You guys are now in, not defend borders, in operations, but defend borders works as well. And so it looks like this is, I mean, going well. Well, you do, yep, and now since they're in the territory, it looks like they're much more willing to actually help us out. We'll do the same for these guys. So this is the plan for this war, no, I never actually forgot to mention that, is we're gonna try and take this land right here, okay. So we're going to try and take all this land right here, and that does include Babylon, which is a city we do need for our, sorry about that pop up there, for our, um, Rena Alexander's Empire kind of mission. So that's a quest. I don't know, I mean, it's really a decision, but it's kind of like a mission, you know, over here. 
and we still have not completed this one. It's been doing it for forever because we are leaving these guys alive as well. So we can continue to declare war on them because we can kind of alternate between declaring war on Seleucid Empire and then declaring war on these guys, which ideally didn't join, or declaring war on one of Seleucid Empire's allies. Depends at the end of the war, we'll decide if we want to keep that or not. And looks like Seleucid Empire, its army has made an appearance. Really, okay, they're both. Or you, only you're gonna go, and that's fine because they don't have much morale, and you're gonna help out as well. That's good. And this siege is one. I'm assuming that's the war goal. Yep. Okay. You're now on impen operations. And Starfish Nation just took out a Sluice Amber Army. Proudy Starfish Nation. Bro, you. <laughs> These troops probably know the way by heart by now after the amount of times so they've gone back and forth. That's a really long journey, as well. Anyway, looks like. And yep, they're gone. And. Okay, that, I'm assuming that was that battle. Is it you? Is No, it was the other person. Whoever you are, you're a terrible general. I mean, we had 40,000, they had 32,000, and they were demoralized, and they lost less than half, as much as we did. It looks like over here, we were victorious. We killed us, been banned revolt, I'm assuming. Actually, can check, yep, it was. Anyway, we'll just continue on with this war. I don't know where you're going, but you're really going very deep in. Looks like that's like an oasis of some sort. And so, let's see. I mean, you guys have gone all the way in here, but you really haven't captured that much land. They are still capturing some. Anyway, Christ and Austria, I didn't really care about that. They're pretty. We didn't really don't. I didn't really do anything, but okay. I'll take the extra stability, and. Okay, this battle actually was good. We lost less than them. Shocking. And that is over here. And so it looks like the war with Armenia finished up, or the Seleucid Empire actually, that army probably just cleaned up all this land. And Armenia is, uh, Armenia's power is definitely broken. And it looks like, I believe, yep, we are at war with them. Parnia, which would be, or are we not? Nope, we are. I have to scroll down. The guys up here. 44 cohorts, that's like half their army, just about. And we can close out of this. And we need another general somewhere. And so, otherwise, um, who are we at war with? I should know that. So this number is actually a low. The war enthusiasm is not that high. I used to always think that was how powerful they were, but that was a while ago anyway. So we're all very enthusiastic, and these guys are all not very happy at all. And then revolts understandably at low. And then, anyway, so we are at war with, okay, city state over there, Parnia, Sakia, um, Archosia, these guys, okay. And Bactra, which is not actually as great, they're actually up there, less powerful than they were before. At least we are not at war with Maka. Which is the most powerful of... Actually, are they more powerful than Swiss Animar? Not quite. Anyway, they do. And so, Maka, the reason we don't want to war with them, I've probably already said this, but... And we lost a seat. Okay. No, can you go over there? Okay, you, you won't go over there. Well, someone's going over there. Go over there. Okay, you're just low as well. Someone who is loyal and would like to take this fort back. Both of you, I'm sure you wouldn't like that. You probably just took capture that fort, but you didn't go and uncapture it or stop them from capturing. There was, as we are going to pause it right here um, and write out this crisis in the Bamboo Revolt pops up. And so, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.